back again for another soap and this is the same concept where I'm going to do the heat thermal <clears throat> transfer method for making my soap. I have my sodium lactate and sea salt water here or salt water from Barbados here and I have my lye and then I have my hard butters and my liquid oils my super fats, my fragrance, and my colors. So I'm aiming to go with four colors. All right. Here we go, here goes nothing. So I'm just mixing this up until it gets semi-clear. Remember I said it does not get clear because I'm using salt water. So I'm going to make sure all my lye crystals are dissolved. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Something in my throat. I'm really in awe how well that worked with the last one. Now, this is a fragrance blend that I'm doing. It's a combination of white, um, sorry, of white grapefruit and bamboo, black cherry vanilla, no, black raspberry vanilla, and cherry. And it actually smells really good. It smells almost like, um, well, my son says it smells like gummy bears, but I think it smells like fruit, like a tropical fruit punch. All right. So in my bigger bowl, I have palm oil, sustainable, coconut oil, mango butter, and cocoa butter. See, it's not totally clear, but it is not as white as it was. Last time this didn't take too long. But it is extremely hot. I'm going to try an experiment. Because this is so hot, And I want to just give a little bit of a base to my colors. I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this while I'm stirring. See if it helps mix in that titanium dioxide. It's just an experiment. Sorry if you guys can hear my TV. I will try and figure out how to Take it out the background. So it smells down pretty good. It's just a couple pieces of mango butter and cocoa butter left. The palm oil and coconut oil obviously melt very quickly. Very excited to get the store back open. Um, there is a girl I work with that does, um, what are they called? I don't know what to call them, but they're like um, baby shower gifts that are made like cupcakes kind of thing. Anyhow, we're going to sh look into sharing some booths this um, year. 
that will offset some costs to allow more profit and just to kind of also have someone else to spend the day with too. That would be good. Okay, just one large piece of cocoa butter and one tiny piece of mango butter left. Such a pretty cool. But my titanium dioxide isn't really blending in. I think when I use the stick blender it will. I thought maybe the heat of it would dissolve the um, glycerin a bit more, like liquefy it, but so it blends in, but it doesn't. Okay, this is a larger chunk of cocoa butter, that's why it's taking longer. So my recipe is very uh, luxurious because there's lots of cocoa, shea, mango butters in here. And then there's the coconut oil for the bubbles and the palm, which allows the bubbles and hardness. And I'm very happy with this recipe. It's very silky, very smooth, leaves your skin nice and soft and moisturized. The bar is creamy from the coconut milk. Coconut milk really gives a nice creaminess to the lather. And the sea salt also adds to, or I should say the sea water also lends to a harder bar because of the salt content of the water. Um, and it's just a part of, it's just a piece of my heritage basically that's why I'm looking at possibly changing the name of my company to Little Bimshire Soap Company. And the reason for that is Barbados is known as Little Bim or Little Bimshire for Little England. Um, every time you hear someone saying going down to Bim, they're referring to going to Barbados. So I thought I'd either call it Little Bim Soap, Soap Company or Little Bimshire, which is a full name soap company. Or little Bimshire soaps, but I think it's gonna be a little Bimshire soap company. I have an idea of how I want the logos to kind of look. I want it kind of a little bit vintage. I wanted to include the Barbados National Flower in it, but I think that will come down the line. Right now, I'm gonna probably use a hibiscus flower as my um, symbol. Um, I remember, and it, it might stay like that because I remember um, growing up as a young girl and going to Barbados, my aunt had um, a garden, or I shouldn't say the garden, um, the perimeter of her property, she had um, hibiscus bushes all the way around the entire perimeter of her property. It was just so gorgeous to see all the beautiful pinks and yellows and orange flowers. Until this day, hibiscus is one of my favorite, favorite flowers. I love Gerber daisies and then hibiscus were the more Caribbean type flower. My mom used to hide a hibiscus bush up here, but I guess eventually it died over time. Okay, look at tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of cocoa butter. Oh, maybe it's gone now. Okay, so now I can add my liquid oils. This batter smells so much like cocoa butter. Like the cocoa butter is so strong because I use the unrefined raw cocoa butter. I don't use the deodorized kind. I think the cocoa butter is best in its natural form. this a little. Mm -hmm. 
super fat. I might change my super fat to be mango butter. This is my coconut milk. Make sure I get all this one goodness out. Sorry that I'm always squeezing, but ingredients are not cheap. <clears throat> ingredients are not cheap and why wouldn't I spend the time, after I spend the time measuring everything out, make sure I use it all? That's my school of thought. Attempt the butterfly squirrel again. Tears are still kind of wet. So I've got this one is the pearlescent sparkling gold mica. I've got a blend of nature soap, orange rainbow mica, and dual chrome red orange. Sorry, I'm looking at my colorants over off to the side. And then I have, this is a blend of Nutri Soap Supply, Pink Rainbow, Cellini Red, and a little bit of Mauve Quartz, I believe. I think I put that in there. And then I have, this is a blend of Amethyst and mauve quartz. Almost matches my gloves. Okay. Okay, and then a base of white. Now I'm going to add my fragrance last because I don't know how the blend of these fragrance are going to do. I know separately they do well. <laughs> Combined, I don't know. I'm just going to add the fragrance because I'm too lazy. I don't want to clean my stick blender. So I've got bubbles in there. You can hear that.
It's nice and loose for me while I mix up the rest of my colors. I go quiet when I'm soaping. So that's the pearlescent gold. This is my blend here. Sorry guys, now I'm watching the news.
name. Let me match his name. I feel like I need to add some more of this one. It's a small thing. Just because I know of purples, you need more. quite a bit. Oh, how it's morphing into a pink. I don't know. Not quite purple, and I have no more purples. It's the only purples I have. I get it a purple. This is morphing into a brownie pink. And I don't have any other kind of purple. I used up all my other purple for an order. So it is what it is. Mess. But my main batch is getting thick. It's actually starting to look a little yellow to me. Happens. It's really hot too. Orange is gorgeous though. It's twice I did that tonight.
Roberts. Wasn't the color I was going for. I went to Nature Soap Supply just now because I realized this is the only purples I have and everything's out of stock. So we're probably going to have to go to TKB. They're pretty purple, but just not the purple I was looking for. Okay, let's bring this back now. See how this butterfly swirl turns out? The batter is not as loose as I want for the batter, butterfly swirl. So I might reduce my hard oils again a little bit. This is actually more red than I was anticipating, but I think I put too much of the slimy red in there as well. But I don't have much of the pink either. Other pinks, but I was going for a different shade of pink. It's okay. It does look like a cherry, which is good. I was hoping the purple would look more raspberry. Well, this looks more raspberry-ish, I guess. I was going for a darker raspberry color. Purpley, grapey color, I don't know. Said I got some kind of burnout color, which will probably work great for melting pork, just not cold process. Gorgeous orange there.
Sorry, guys. I think I left my stick downstairs. So I have a straw here. It's almost done, so it needs to be refilled. So it's not going to be much to come out. Sorry, guys, now I'm mumbling to myself. That's the finished soap with my purple that is turning into I don't know what kind of color, but it is fading. Anyways, thanks for watching. Look out for the cut videos. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back again. I'm, like I mentioned in the last video, just home from work. Still got all my scrubs and my stuff, but um, I'm gonna go in the shower just now, do some homework, and then go to bed for work again tomorrow. All right, so this one is an unnamed soap. Um, you know what, I think what I'll do is, if you can think of a name for this soap, put it down below, 
And what I'll do is draw for a winner and send out one bar of this soap um, anywhere in the world, open international. So the scent on this is black raspberry vanilla, um, a blend of black raspberry vanilla, cherry, and um, white grapefruit and bamboo. So I'll put a full description of the scent down below. If you can think of a name for this, uh, this soap, then write it down below and I'll draw a random winner. We'll leave it until February, uh, hmm, hold on, let me see guys. Look at the Okay. Um, How about we leave it to Valentine's Day, the 14th, okay? So on the 14th is the last day, and um, then I will ship it out uh, shortly thereafter, okay? So once again, the fragrance is a blend of black raspberry vanilla, white white grapefruit and bamboo, and cherry. Okay, this one um, didn't get as white as I wanted, but I don't have so much titanium dioxide crackles. I didn't get, um, this didn't heat up as much. And that purple completely faded out to a very pale pink. And we Okay. Let's see if we got the butterfly soul with this one. That's the first cut. Mmm, that smells pretty. To me, that looks more like a bird. But let's see here. That looks like a hummingbird to me. We'll see how it is as we get through the bar. I mean, the loaf. Ooh. That was pretty, that side. That's the gold. And the purple inside looks more purple. So I wonder if it's going to come back. Let's see, guys. That looks more like a bird's wing, almost like a butterfly, not quite. Let's see the other side. I'm going to call it the phoenix swirl because to me it looks like a phoenix bird. This world's pretty though. And I'm kind of happy the purple is not too bad on the inside. It's more purple. The top is, you can see, it faded out to like a pink, a very pale pink. On July 1st, 1867, Sir John Bangles became Canada's first Prime Minister. Let's see if I try it the other way. On the side. It's like a bird to me, guys. More so than a butterfly swirl. Um, 
That's pretty close to a butterfly. But look at the purple. I'm very impressed. It came back. Another side, kind of like a butterfly. Mm. I really like how this smells. Okay. Last one. This. I don't know if that's the right one. That's kind of like a butterfly. Oh, that's kind of like a butterfly, too. That's a nice butterfly. Too bad the end pieces. Wow, I'm really impressed with that. Okay, I'll clean that up in a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with these. They're not all exactly like a butterfly swirl, but not bad. Not bad. And I really like this blend. The black raspberry vanilla gives it that tartness. The um, cherry gives it a sweetness, and the Grapefruit gives it that uh, freshness that it needs. It's a really nice blend. Really, really pretty. Anyone would like this. Any girl would like this. So remember, comment down below what you think and also a name what you think would suit this blend. And on February 14th, I will draw one winner and I will send you a free bar of soap. All right. And uh, look out for the grand opening. These soaps won't be quite available for the grand opening, but they will be available for a couple weeks after we open. Um, but the soaps I made before in the previous videos shall be available for February 28th or March 1st, depending on when I'm able to get everything loaded up and onto the computer. I've just ordered some supplies for shrink, shrink wrapping, um, and then I'm still finalizing the logo temporary logo until I can afford to hire um, someone to design, to design me a logo. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!